What's up YouTube? I am Casey with bestinvestingapps.com and today you are watching TradingView Reviewed 2017 and you're going to take away what TradingView is, how you can use it, whether or not it's a good fit for you and so many details about the TradingView platform which by the way I absolutely love and I hope that you find it useful for charting and technical analysis. At the end I'm going to tell you a little bit about Project 100, a really exciting uh, goal setting process at best investing apps and how you can get involved and also get yourself a free copy of my ebook. So here we go. TradingView is my favorite charting tool by far on the web. I love how intuitive, easy, and powerful it is, and it's very beautifully done. It's web only, there is no mobile app for it, although I feel it would be really well suited to mobile app. It's just a really easy to use platform. I think they could make it work great on mobile and I'd love to see that. Um, it's free to use to get started, but there are some limiting features of the free to use account. I've been thinking about upgrading myself for a while. Uh, you can see the prices up here. I think that if any of them are worth it, the pro plan is valuable. It offers, um, I think there's features down here. The pro plan unlocks um, some pretty major features like more alerts and more indicators applied on the charts at any given time. The pro, um, the pro plus and the premium, they're kind of expensive and they don't really unlock a whole lot more. So I feel that the pro is the best plan. If you end up wanting to sign up for that, I would be grateful if you use my affiliate link in the description below. If you sign up, it costs you nothing and the kickback helps me keep making good videos. So what exactly is a charting app? If you're not already familiar, um, a charting tool basically displays price data and other types of data about a stock, a security, a bond, uh, an ETF, what have you, in different ways. Now, most charting tools that are worth their salt are very customizable, and the whole point is that we should be able to really narrow our focus down. I should be able to look at very specific time frames. I should be able to see very specific parts of the chart. I can add on complex indicators and algorithms over the top of parts of these charts. And all of these different things are ways that a technical trader, um, most often a day trader, will use to make decisions or help aid in making decisions for buying and selling a stock. Now, of course, you don't have to put all of these fancy, fancy indicators and technical things all over the chart. Uh, you can just use the price chart as a price chart. I'm gonna use my review article from Best Investing Apps about TradingView as an example here because one of the things I love the most about TradingView is how beautifully it can be integrated with existing social platforms, websites, and other things. Um, you can see right here, this is a integrated profile of mine on the website from TradingView using just a little bit of a code snippet. Um, I'm not super active on TradingView, but it shows you different stats from your TradingView profile. And you can do really cool things like embed up to the minute charts that are totally editable right into this article. Here is a TradingView chart that I can come in and um, I can add indicators onto this chart all within an embedded form and that's awesome so even if you don't use the trading view app if you do any writing or blogging social media about investing and charting this is awesome because you can embed it and people can check out your ideas really cool so why would someone choose to use a charting tool i'm going to give you an example that's really relevant to best investing apps users a lot of you love the robin hood stock trading app and for great reasons. Now, some people using Robinhood like to trade penny stocks or stocks valued at less than $5. And ABIL, A-B-I-L, is one such stock. I've just kind of picked because I've had my eye on it. Um, but let me show you the power of this charting tool. So I have overlaid a squeeze indicator here on the bottom. So this shows us an indicator called a squeeze. Now a squeeze is when a stock goes from having moved up and down a lot to trading in a narrow band. You can see right here, this stock begins to trade sideways very heavily. When a stock starts to squeeze down like that and it trades in a narrow window, something called a breakout is expected. So if the stock 
suddenly breaks high, all of a sudden one day it starts to trade for more than it was trading for, it's known to have broken out and you can expect a run in the direction of the breakout. Now, sometimes people will wait for confirmations of that breakout, um, but for an example here, it squeezed down, it squeezed down. You can see that it's indicating a squeeze, indicating a squeeze, the squeeze is on here, and then all of a sudden you see a breakout to the top side. It closes at 85 cents that day, closes the next day at $1.41. That's a 65% gain in one day. That's insane. So your $10,000 would be $16,500 in a matter of 24 hours. You have made $6,500 on your 10K. Like, dude, just take three months off. You're good. Whatever. Uh, now, of course, there's no guarantee that the trade's going to go your way. Anything can happen. But that's part of the power of a charting app. And we can come in. We can overlay all sorts of different indicators. There are indicators that are built in all sorts of indicators that we would expect to see like Bollinger Bands and then we have public libraries so people come in they program in their own indicators TradingView has its own built-in uh, scripting language so you can program your own indicators like if the stock does this then do this and indicate that and um, I've tinkered with it a little bit it's really powerful it's a lot of fun if you're a good um, technical trader so much power for you Highly recommend this for anyone who's thinking about day trading. It's critical to not just go on Robinhood and be like, oh, I'll buy 10 stocks of this random thing because I feel like it today. Well, if you have a little strategy, use a charting tool. You might be able to make 65% in a single day uh, on a regular basis with some a little bit of luck on your side and a good strategy. So that's some of the power of a charting app. If you're stoked about charting and technical analysis and you're ready to learn some patterns that can help you learn when to trade, when to buy and sell, I'll have a couple of links down in the show notes below. Uh, first up is an Investopedia article. I know it's generic, but it's a great place to start with a bunch of different patterns and indicators. Also, another great place to check is your broker, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade. A lot of those places have in-house educational resources, in-house articles and videos about technical trading. So check there. I know I used E-Trade and attended some of their live webinars. That was really helpful. Love it. So that's a little known resource you can use for yourself. One more great feature of TradingView is the alert system. So you can come over on the right hand side. My screen's got it cut off because of the way I'm recording, but over here you can set up alerts. So I can add a new alert. I can say uh, DB, which is Deutsche Bank, is crossing, is crossing down, is less than. You can choose all these parameters. You can say, I want you to email me. I want you to send me a text, whatever. If you want more than one alert, you have to pay for an upgraded account. So check the links below if you decide to upgrade your account. I appreciate you using my affiliate link of course, that helps me continue to make these videos. I really like their alert system. It's pretty straightforward. It's easy to use. There may be better ones out there, but if you choose to use TradingView and you use it a lot, having that integrated alert system is really nice and it's very clean and powerful. Well done. One last part of TradingView before I let you go that I didn't know about for a long time and it kind of pissed me off that I missed it for so long is over here. So we click on the three dots. Never noticed these. Click on Stock Screener. There's a lot of other cool ones in here like Forex Signals, Economic Calendars uh, for Macro Trends. Stock Screener. Click on Stock Screener. So much value in this Stock Screener and I never knew it was here. You can change your setup. So each of these is a predetermined like set of tables. Then I can filter. Uh, so I want earnings per share of like say zero to 10, Whoop. boom, filter it out. Here I have them all and now I can, I can start applying more filters. I can add and remove different items from here. So if I wanna change what I'm looking at, it's super powerful. I can come in here and add a one month pivot Camarilla, whatever the hell that means. I don't know what that means, but you can add and remove things from your tables. So it's almost the power of the charting app where you can kind of add filters and add indicators, but you can do that with the stock screener here and see it as a list. So if I want a very specific list of stocks that fit 
exactly a set of criteria that I want to find. Right here. Got it. Love it. Really powerful. Didn't know it was there for a long time. Hope it helps you. Thanks for watching my video on TradingView, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and hopefully you learned a few things that can help you out. If you choose to use a TradingView membership, just use my affiliate link. It helps me out. I'll have a link in the description below to anything I've mentioned, plus my profile on TradingView, and you can come and hang out. We can connect. We can share ideas. You can watch me blunder my way through the stock market and uh, play with technical analysis, which I like to do sometimes. I like to get nerdy with it. So if you like to get nerdy with it, come hang out. We'll uh, share ideas. You can teach me your ways. I'll teach you mine, even though I don't have very many, kind of a one-trick pony. Appreciate it. If this helped you save money, make money, or avoid a mistake, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Coming out with new videos almost every day. Head over to bestinvestingapps.com and check out Project 100. It's on the main menu navigation, or you can find the link down below. Again, Project 100 is an awesome tracking project where I'm trying to really set some goals and knock them out, trying to grow Best Investing Apps, so come along for the journey, and you'll find out how you can be a guest author over there. Come tell us about your technical trading and what you do and don't like about TradingView if you want. We'll catch you next time, and I appreciate it.